From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. We'll find out later today how the government's consultative committee for the corona vaccine plans to get the vaccine into people. The committee has scheduled a news briefing for later today following the announcement by the office of the prime minister this week that we should be getting vaccine before the end of this month. Health officials are now preparing for that. There were six more confirmed cases of the coronavirus reported on Tuesday, all of them in the capital. The hospital numbers are now 15, but no one is in the ICU. Members of the nurses' union continuing to pressure the government on overtime pay. It says the government owes them somewhere around $100,000. A number of nurses, led by union president Amancha Williams, demonstrated in Rawson Square yesterday, trying to get the attention of House members as they were going in for their session. Williams telling the media, We want to be paid for overtime, not to honorary. Health Minister Wells telling the media that most of the nurses have been paid already. He says the government has paid $162,000 in overtime between March and September last year, but admitted there is some paperwork issue at the Department of Health that is causing a holdup for some nurses. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police continue their investigations into that traffic accident turned into murder investigation here in the capital this week. An argument following the accident led to the fatal stabbing of a man, his identity not released as yet. The incident prompting police officials to issue this statement. An accident is simply an accident. There's no need to be involved in physical altercations with anyone. Once you have all your required documents, the permission to be on the road, to use the road. Those things are suffice because things could be replaced, but not lies. Assistant Superintendent of Police Peters in the House yesterday, members passed some aviation-related legislation designed to give the country more control of its airspace. 21-year-old Devin Propol will be spending the next nine months in prison, his sentence for sending naked pictures of his children's mother to her co-workers on social media. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area beginning a warming trend. Mostly sunny and mild again today. Highs from the upper 60s to mid 70s. 68 at Freeport, 70 in the capital, 77 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories now. Wind settling at 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now. The next high around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low 60s to low 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, COVID-19 vaccinations ramping up in the U.S., but the coronavirus spread there is not over. That country has now passed 450,000 deaths from the virus. The numbers are beginning to stabilize overall, but health officials say they still have a ways to go before the situation is under control. More weather-related issues for the U.S. Another winter storm is moving across the country. This one not as strong. It will bring more snow to areas already hit by the previous system. The military in Myanmar taking more steps to control that country, now blocking Facebook as protests against the military coup gain steam there. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 409, SO402, Rubus $4 on one cent per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Both Buddy Heald and DeAndre Ayton in action in the NBA last night. Heald against the Celtics, find out how he did and how the Kings did. Aiton against New Orleans. There's a report on how he did in that game. 
and other NBA-related news in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For COVID issues for the Australian Open Tennis Tournament, which begins next week, it will be different. And get the very latest on the big game coming up on Sunday. Countdown to the Super Bowl, 6.30, the projected kickoff time. For all of your sports details, check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.